Good morning, class family. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you are a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Let's start with today's date. Ready? January 12th, 2022. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will review the ABCs and vowels. Next, we will do Jacob's Ladder using the mitten. Then, we will share the when and then of the story. Last, we will make covers for books by picking a topic from a list. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's talk about what we're doing this morning during language arts. Read the date with me again together. January 12th, 2022. Did you notice the uppercase letter J for the month of January? Remember, kindergartners, we always capitalize each month of the year. That's why there's an uppercase letter right there. Now, let's continue and look at our greeting. Dear class family, after our greeting, I see the first telling sentence. Do you remember the day that we're on today? Hmm, it's a wonderful what. Look back at this sentence and read it in your head. Do you remember? What day are we on? I heard some of you say it. We are on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and read that sentence together. Today is Wednesday. Look at the next telling sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, you know that's true, class family. We learn a lot at school every day in each subject. That's what students do when they go to school. First, we will review the ABCs and vowels. Okay, so we will review the ABCs when we greet everyone and go through our word wall, reviewing all the letters and sounds, starting with A, going all the way to Z. And as we say hello to each friend who, whose name starts with each beginning letter. We'll review those kindergarten sight words that start with the letter as well. We're also going to be focusing on vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. Today, we're going to revisit some of those CVC words that have vowels in them, and we're going to break down the sound from the word, from the beginning, middle, and ending sound. And in the middle of that word, there's going to be a vowel, and you're going to help me identify what that vowel is. Does the vowel, is it an A, like A, apple, A, E, I, O, or U? We're going to go ahead and figure it out together. And when we dance to the CVC word song, we're going to practice breaking down the words from beginning, middle, and end. Then we're going to look back at the song and we're going to pause the words and we're going to break it down and figure out what is the vowel in the middle? Is it A, E, I, O, or U? Oh, I'm so excited to review that with you. Let's look at the next part. Next, we will do Jacob's Ladder using the mitten. Okay, today when you're doing Jacob's Ladder, and actually throughout the day, you're going to be a really great communicator. Make sure that you listen and ask questions, speak clearly, and write to share your ideas. Today, our turn now for Jacob's Ladder for today, what we're going to be focusing on is we are going to still continue looking at the book the mitten. And this time, as we're looking at the mitten, we're going to be focusing on cause and effect for this step in Jacob's Ladder. So we're going to look at cause and effect. While looking at cause and effect, remember, cause is the reason why something happens. For example, if you push your friend and then your friend falls, you 
pushed your friend. That's the cause. When your friend fell down, that's the effect. So we're going to see cause and effect in the book, The Mitten. When we're figuring that out, there's an important question that I want to share with you. Let's go ahead first and see what we're going to be focusing on, and then I'll share that part with you. Then we will share the when and then of the story. So when we're reviewing cause and effect, we will be doing the when and then. So for the mitten, what was the effect of the bear sneezing? We'll look at the next slide to help you. So we're going to go ahead and think about the question, what was the effect of the bear sneezing? And we're going to revisit the story and we're going to be using Google Slides to help us. And we're going to think about it first by using text evidence and then looking back to see, hmm, what's going on? I remember when we discussed this, when we were retelling the story and reviewing it so many times with the bear. Remember when all of the animals were inside of the mitten and then the bear came along? Hmm. I remember something happened and then the bear sneezed. Do you remember that part? So we're going to be focusing on that today for the story, The Mitten. Last, we'll make covers for books by picking a topic from a list. Love, Miss Joyner. Okay, so during writing workshop, you will be picking um, a topic from the list that we had created and brainstormed together yesterday. And then you are going to be picking a topic to focus on. And you're going to be making a cover for your book focusing on that. So you can draw the picture of what you're focusing on for your All About book. And we'll figure out what a good title will be for that during writing workshop. All right. We're going to have a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. And for today's question, remember, we're going to do a T-chart with yes, no answers, our tally marks, and get ready to share your reason why. Here's the question for today in kindergarten. Do you see the picture? Here's the question. Do you like mittens? Hmm. Well, do you? Do you like mittens?